get a lot of folks that uh, are having trouble with uh, loading their horses and uh, you know this is a subject that goes on and on and on and it's like I think this is a conversation we ought to have um, I did a, another video on trailer loading but now what I want to talk about is uh, conditioning your horse preparing it to load uh, it, it goes back to the same old thing that we talk about all the time. You have to create an environment for your horse that's inviting. If, if you're upset, if you've got a lot of energy, see when I go like that, see how the horse picks its head up? And you know, you get you get into this loading situation where everybody wants to help and everybody wants to whack and swat and, and jerk and everybody's got some video they've watched somewhere that said this is how you gotta do it and you get into this kind of a catastrophe waiting to happen and the horse is upset and confused and it's just a problem so the first thing I, I say to do is relax yourself calm down and understand that you've got to provide this horse an environment where it's going to feel safe on that trailer and not uncertain okay the first word of advice I have on trailering you don't learn to trailer on the trailer you learn to trailer out here or in the alleyway or in the round pen and you do that by um, schooling your horse away from the trailer to back and to go forward now this is Nikki here she's one of our summer interns this year and we're going to work with her and we're going to demonstrate how to prepare your horse to get on and off the trailer all right so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to school our horse on backing and leading. So if your horse doesn't want to load, basically tells me he doesn't know how to lead. Because that horse should go wherever you lead. He should follow you wherever you go. And if he doesn't, back up, get that all worked out. Okay? So now what Nikki's going to do now, we're not going to go over the bridge yet. Just back your horse up and walk him forward. Soft. See how she uses her left hand? Just ounces, feather ounces. Well, she's prepared that horse in the round pen, like in, in my previous videos on how to soften the jaw and to soften the pole of a horse. See? So that horse is broke the lead. Okay, now back the horse up. So in my round pen, I have a sheet of plywood that I use. So the next thing I would do is I would step that horse onto that sheet of plywood and get it used to feeling that hollow tone underneath its feet. And then I would allow that horse to rest standing on that piece of plywood. And I would get that horse where it step on the plywood, back off the plywood, step back on the plywood, and do it to where it's just as easy as falling off a log, okay? And he's feeling real good about it. And I'm gonna make it to where he's resting on the plywood. I want him to feel that instability under his feet because a lot of times a horse doesn't want to load because it's not used to that hollow tone and that, you know, your trailer's got springs on it and tires, so it's like it's standing on unstable ground and that's frightening to a horse. So then this is our teeter bridge here that we use. So the next thing, rather than take the horse over to the trailer and get in a quarrel with it not wanting to step up on the trailer, Obviously, if it won't step up on the teeter bridge, it's certainly not going to step up on the trail. I don't want it jumping over the teeter bridge. I don't want it stomping it hard. I want it just softly walking over the teeter bridge.